Okay. Thank you, Mazi Elotuku, for confronting these very lies coming up with Nigerian government page. They call Igbo history on Facebook. You know, these people are promoters of lies. When they come, government will just um, create them. Then they will be going to Google or people's site to get some Igbo history somehow. They will publish it. They will tell you it's Igbo history. But in a, when you begin to follow such pages, at a time, they will unveil the reason why the government established them. Just like recently, now, let me show you this thing in a bold manner. Let me show you this in a... Thank you. Good evening from here. This is Fearless IPOB Evangelist, in case you don't know. Now, look at what they call Igbo history just published. He said, Cyber Nepa, diplomatic push for Biafra um, con gains momentum with the U.S. Congress, you know, uh -huh, Congressman. Then, let us move. I want to remove it and then um, apply... Let us see the full screen of this very one. Thank you. So now, I want to analyze. Mazel Utuko Hagi will have been exposing this very rubbish. You know, the Nigerian government bought so many pages, contracted them. Some have been diminished because their job is over. But this one, they kept them here. This man, if he's Igbo, I want to ask him or those in charge of this very page, they call Ibo Hesse, who is publishing rubbish. Are you not aware that this very criminal you are talking about have told you he discussed with um, South Korea or North Korea, pres North Korea president? Are you not aware? Are you not aware he told you about um, war fight? Are you not aware? Then, are you not aware of this very... Um, pictures here. Let me bring this one now. Let me bring this one. Let I remove it. No, I want to expose him. You know, when they are unleashing the reason why government established such page, then you have to know. So that is why we are here. Then I want to present this picture to him and them or the government and the criminal himself. Look at what he presented. Are you seeing it? Igbo history, are you telling us that you did not see this publication from this criminal? When the terrorist headquarters Nigeria army meet the Biafra resistance fighter. Are you seeing it? Then let me get you the original one. He said it happened in Biafra land. But I want to show you the original one. You are aware of it, though, but I just want to show you. You know, you claim to be a fool. Then look at the same picture. Suspected Islamic State, ISIL, armed assault of vehicle belonging to Syrian Decorative Forces, SDF, stroke PKK, in AI, Iowa, Hasaka, govern, um, govern, Governorate, Syria, read more, right? I think you can see it. Then, you see it's Syria. That is where it happened. But the Igbo history claimed not to see it. And he saw this thing. This was published by the criminal he's promoting. Look at what he promised. The same picture from Syria attack was what he claimed that his army was responsible for. Right? Then... Let us continue. I want to present this one. It's on the screen already, but let us just go there. Recently, look at... Recently, let me go first, before I begin to analyze. Recently, look at what the criminal published. Look at it. Are you seeing it? I think you see it. They decimated them, right? Now, let me show you the original one. 
because I want to analyze. I think you know that picture. Oh yeah, look at the original one. Jihadist attack. Togo military barracks. Kill 12 soldiers. Injured others. That is the picture your criminal presented that his Biafra liberation idiot carried the action. Do you understand? Now, I want to remove it. Let me present that one, the idiot posted, in case you ask me again. Look at it. These are recent ones, so are you not aware? This is what happened in Togo. He claimed responsible. And you are here publishing that they met with uh, their breach. I will analyze that your rubbish. I still want to present another one before I go there. Share the program very wide. You know? Let me present this one. Igbo history on the those that are handling it and the Nigerian government. Are you not aware that this very criminal presented this picture of an Igbo or let me just say Igbo Russian soldier or Biafran Russian soldier, a living somebody. He claimed that this guy is a Biafra Liberation Army. They send them to Russia. But the person is alive. And you, the, that is handling the Fulani man, handling the Igbo history Facebook page, you are still publishing that a, somebody who came up that Namdekanu is in detention. Namdekanu is in detention. So they need to free him. He came with blackmail. IPOB leadership organized for Monday Statum without its consent. And later, Nazi Namdekanu suspended it and they suspend it and this criminal the government sent him to hijack it you were there from there he claimed that he's in charge of ipub he claimed that the monday sit at home with leader he started killing our people when you tell me that you can lead a movement to free their leader when you are not a member you are trying to tell me as we told you that time because you are a full animal behind the very page you tell me that nigerian youth can take over the case of p2b no, you can only support up, um, 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 labor or support P2B. Nobody can say he's a Biafran group, so they overtake IPOB to go and fight for their leader. You that is writing this thing, promoting this criminal, that they went with the, What is his group? Do you think that the world have anything to do with an individual in terms of freedom fighting? You say he's a, he's a bridge, bridge, uh, a, 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 what is it called? Is a consultant or what? Then we ask you, do you think the world have anything to do with an individual in terms of freedom fighting? What is the name of the group that this very criminal is leading? What is the name of the organization he leads? Or do you think somebody will come up and start leading Biafra people? Are you foolish? You publish something you want to dis dis de deceive people. Government have signaled you to promote a criminal that has killed our people for three years. If you are an Igbo man, you are behind that Igbo history page. You will know that killing an Igbo man is the evil. This man have killed Igbo people, kidnapped big men, sacked communities. With the name of IPB and then the Kano. He claimed it. You know what he committed. You are here publishing. Who are you trying to deceive? You publish. He met with a U.S. congressman. He called U.S. congressman. Are you foolish? So all of you promoted the killings of our people here. For complete three years, they killed our people. Now, they are not talking about it. They are not telling you they are fighting army. They are not telling you they are running government in exile. But this is their primary step. This was their starting point. That in and they cannot be free. Hey, everybody betray him. Barrister betray him. Everybody. You and you, we are publishing. You, we are promoting. Today, where are they? They finally tell you there is no more APB. They finally tell you there is no more ESM. They finally abandoned Kano, they are not doing blah. And you are here writing because you are a flanny man behind the page. And we ask you, are you not aware that this criminal government recruited agent declare no flight zone in Biafra land? Are you not aware that this idiot declare no checking point? Are you not aware that this idiot call for no election in Biafra land 2023?
the idiot behind the Igbo history. Are you not aware that this criminal you are promoting have killed people in Aaron Dizoko? Are you not aware he have killed in Osi Hitoka? He have killed in Osumu. He have killed in um, Hitenansa. He have killed in Ihiala. This criminal you are promoting, are you not aware he have killed Igbo people in um, Umuaka? He have killed in Injaba. He have killed in, um, what is it called? What is that place? Ubuli Hejo 4 is running and they sleep in the church because of this criminal. And you tell me you are an evil man, you are behind this page. It's a lie. Fulani is behind it. Why is it happening in Imo? It's happening in Imo because Imo state governor was put in position through Supreme Court so that this thing will happen. Is it only in Imo they are doing their blah? You are promoting a criminal. You are promoting a killer of our people. Somebody that have claimed everything, claimed Namdekan today, you have done them. You have dropped IPOB, nothing. You don't use. But this is, I've never been a member of IPOB. But he used it. And you promoted it. You fool any man behind this page. You promoted it. And you are answering Igbo history page. You claim to be Igbo man, but you are evil. This man claimed that the South Korea president he meet. Do you think that in freedom fighting, that they deal with individuals? Are you not seeing that you only write someone but you did not write the name of his group? You say it's the Afra government in exile. What is the name of the group that declared the government in exile? Why did he claim to be in charge of IPUB? Why did he claim to be IPUB member? Why did he claim to be in charge of ESN? What is the name of his group that declared the government in exile? And what do you know about government in exile? Do you do government in exile with criminals that they hand gone over to? How many of your people in the community do your government, the government in Israel communicate? Communi government in Israel communicate with civilians. Government in Israel, you will be in your line, you'll be agitating, and you'll be trying to fight for, for free your people. Then the government will now come after your life. Then if you escape, you will now discuss with your people with an already foundation you have laid, which you communicate with your people down to the rural levels, down to the low level, by in, um, establishing leadership arms, like what IPB have established, like unit zones, LGA, senatorial and state departments. This will be a channel, not armed people, a channel of communicating the people to the community. This is more than government in Ezra. But in government in Ezra, you need it. Government in Ezra is not run by a few criminals that have gone, that operate, go run closer to the bush, to the main roads. You know, anywhere they operate, nobody will pass there. But where Nigerian army kept their checking point, people will pass. High as they will torture you or they collect money from you or they waste your time. But wherever these criminals are operating, that road is no go area. So is that how to run government in Ezra? Who declare it? Who did you discuss it with? Don't you know that even the declaration of Biafra, Ojuku discuss it with people? Don't you know you are a fool? You must do Biafra in your land, hold Biafra in your, fight for Biafra in your land, then hold the flag in your land, then your people will know, you know where you came from, they will know your parents, they will know everything about you, then if the government come after your life, if you escape, you can now declare government in exile with the agreement with your people that these people they will be seen in the community, that you'll be reaching them through these people. Not a few criminals who have never, who can never approach an individual that are carrying gun, kidnapping people, killing, claiming to be IPOB, claiming to be ESN. And government can never publish them with the name of their group because they don't have a group. And you can never run a freedom fighter without them of group. That's why everything this idiot committed, they target on IPOB because the government cannot publish crimes without identification of the or suspect or pointing hand at. That is why you came up with Igbo history page to promote evil because you know that lies is the only thing that can be used to hold this criminal. Who are the people running it? Don't you know that IPOB communicate village leaders? IPOB communicate market leaders? IPOB communicate um, school management? IPOB communicate hospitals? IPOB communicate traditional rulers? IPOB communicate town union president? IPOB communicate everywhere? through that is visibly not by threat not by phone call not these idiots people that are carrying on don't you know in government in Asia, that the security you have not business to do with it they will only be against those that invaders they will be fighting invaders 
But the main government in Ezra are civilians in the communities that you will be reaching out to communicate the people without even announcing it, without the knowledge of the government, and they will carry on actions without any announcement. And you are there, you say you are Igbo history, you know that these people have killed Igbo people for three years now. And you are promoting it, and you say you are Igbo history. And then you will write this in history. You don't write this in history that an idiot based in Finland that the Finland government have arrested for killing a Nugu citizen, which is Nigerian citizen. And Nigeria heard about it that the Finnish government sent a delegate to come to Enugu and investigated and took back the investigation and it was an official investigation because the journalists reported to the Finnish embassy in Abuja. That is to say, when living also, the journalist reported to Abuja also. And that is to say, officially, the Enugu state government was aware that this very man gave order that took the life of a pregnant woman on the, third, on the 10th of December 2022. Now, when the Finnish journalists went back, they arrested the criminal. He claimed to be doing this with the name of IPOB that Nandekanu told him to lead IPOB in, the, in his absence. Then the Finnish government contacted IPOB and the IPOB told them that this man has never been IPOB member. And he, then the Finnish was interrogating him. Why didn't Nigeria intervene then and say Finnish hand this man over to us why didn't they follow due proceedings for extradition and say this man have killed our citizens so hand him over to us but it was nigeria who was aware that the finnish sent official visit to clear their image that their citizen was killing a nigerian citizen but the nigeria that has the citizen did not take an action they dodged even as Nigerians was protesting, Nigeria government dodged. Upon the way this man was going interrogation, even the thing that separated him and the wife, Nigeria dodged. Because they thought that this man, as they promote him, that his crime will be used to turn Nelu Namdekano. There was opportunity for Nigeria to arrest him had he not been working for them when he was facing interrogation in Finland. But they dodged and hide. Was it not the best opportunity? to go for his extradition. No. But Nigeria was aware. This very Fulani that is in charge of the Igbo history page was aware of these lies that this man have uh, conducted a no, vote of no confidence against IPOB leadership. If he's running an organization, why must he go and conduct a vote of no confidence? Then this man said there is no more Radio Biafra. This man said you should not listen to IPOB. This man told you you should not go to IPOB meeting. Then I ask you, is that how to run government in Nigeria? This is somebody who have never had a problem with the Nigerian government, a Nigerian at least based in Finland. You never had a write-up from a Nigerian, Nigerian embassy in Finland challenging any issue. Suddenly they told you that Finland have written an article or they have published their article on their legal actions on how to extradite like Simon. But they didn't tell you, the media did not publish the article written or the diplomatic moves between Nigeria and Kenya. Not even publish the diplomatic move between Nigeria and the UK. They didn't publish it, but they are publishing this one. And you also, you will promote it because you are a, you are, you are a promoter of evil against Igbo people. That is why they created this page and handed over to Fulani, who is behind it. Small time, they will go to Google and print out history that was written for by some idiots. They will publish it. And they say, hey, it's Igbo history. Small time, the government will signal them and on, to unleash the reason why they were established. And that's why they are doing this thing. And that is why we are here to deal with them in truth and in honesty. That is what we are doing. What we are saying here is that there is no government in exile when you do not communicate the people there is no government in exile when you are invader in your land the nigerian army occupied their barracks their barracks are entered the nigerian army they occupied their checking point their checking points are intact and the nigerian governors they occupy their government house their government houses are intact the nigerian local government the chairman they occupy their local government headquarters their local government headquarters are intact they are fully they are fully operating in our land then you that owns the land owns the army, do not have a place where your army is occupying as your barrack, but the Nigerian that should be invaders, they are now the landlord, they have their barracks, a two division is intact, a Nugu 103 battalion, a Nugu is intact, on its barrack is intact, all the barracks are intact, all the barracks are intact, and you are running behind Kashu, and you say you are running an army in the name of group, and this Igbo history will publish such thing that an individual is running an army who does not lead a group. 
an individual will call for a sit at home, you do not hear the name of his group. They will tell you his bla, they will tell you his bridge. What is the name of the group that launched the government in exile? Is it the whole pe Biafra people, which Dave Oman is included, which Hope Ozorima is included, which in Wike is a Biafran? So, do you telling me that Biafra people launched government in exile under whose own organization? Are you mad? Are you foolish? To go behind Igbo, you write Igbo history as a page, you use it to be dealing with our people. Don't you know that you are promoting killings of our people? Don't you know that this man should be is wanted in Igbo land? Don't you know? Don't you know that is a government contract? Don't you know? Why not? Why not? I warn you. Go in a cook any hair, Kwano. I'm going to let her come check you on him, name or mug all but I'm going to send you the message. Don't worry, I'm check you in here. We continue. Do you understand? So, what we are presenting here is the fact that you cannot be uh, behind the page that the right evil, you'll be using it to promote criminal to deceive our people. Have you ever seen a group that launched an army? Have you ever seen, don't you know that IPOB exercises their, 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 their um, authority in Biafra land and also the loyalty of our people presenting it to the world through self, um, this civil disobedient. We do not use force because we are not competing with anybody in Biafra land. Rather, we present international, we, 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 are, we, we present international activities because self, um, civil disobedience is the only method we can use to tell the world that we are in charge of our land and our people are loyal to us and also obey our commands without forcing them. We are not going after the army or anybody for now which is not in our agenda. But we cannot say that we sack the police, we sack the army, we sack the... We can only tell the army to leave our roads. We cannot say we sack the governor. No! That's why we call for a freedom. Now, what we can use to exercise our full... The, the support of our people or to show the world how the people support us or to show the world how the people are with us is by calling for a civil disobedience. When the people obey it without pointing gun at them, then they bore, the world will give us the credit because the government claim to be in charge of here. If they are in charge of here, why is it that people, a, a, a organization will give instruction and the whole citizens will obey, which will even affect the government and the government will also obey. That is to say, if we are in position with gun, there will be nothing like a government that will be countering our government here. If we can take control of our land without gun, then if we have gun, will anybody stand here? No. So when people come and tell you these people don't exist, they don't exist, that is to say it is their job, it is their duty. So what we are here destroying is your promotion of evil because no evil man will promote this only the haters of evil land are the people behind simon Eber's activity because there is no such agitation even children if you want to fight them in their compound they will drag you outside the compound you cannot be killing our people when the northerner do not even get it hot you do not move an inch to another land it is always in our land the same land where we are and they invaded our land, Ojuk was on defense, is where the government told this idiot to be bringing war in our land. And they tell you they are fighting the army. They are fighting the army. The two division is intact. Obinza is intact. Burikamp is intact. One of three, one, one fourteen brigade or half is intact. One forty-four as is intact. Everywhere is intact. Everywhere is intact. And somebody tell you they are fighting army. Are you mad? Have you not moved from Abba to Wuri? Don't you see army? Are you really not moved from Abba to Enugu? Don't you see army? Don't you move from Abba to Uyugocha? Don't you see army? Tell me where they are fighting the army. These are criminals. Where do you run the government in Ezra? Where is your office? In government in Ezra, you have offices where your people report. Government in Ezra does not go on hiding. It is a physical something. It is a visible some people. Visible leaders that will be seen, known by the communities, not people that are covering their face with the mask. Ask. They don't run government in Ezra. Government in Ezra, you'll be communicating with your people, you'll be meeting with your people. This will be established in, with, 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 
by you and your agreement with your people. It is not people with guns. They don't communicate people. It is they must be civilians, well known, have offices, and the have there is a criteria to declare government in Israel. You must be in your land, fight for the freedom, make sure you show your people your determination. Then the government, the oppressor will come after your life. You will run away. When you run away, then you can even signal your people. They will give you order to declare government in exile, and they will appoint people for you. They will appoint people for you, right? Government in exile is an ind not an individual. That is why when this idiot call for sitatum, it will not be with the name of group. That's why Nigerian government understood this. They always tag his sitatum on IPOB because an individual does not call for sitatum for civil disobedience then they knew that this idiot does not have a name of group that's why they keep attaching his activities on IPOB you cannot present something without the name of group the government have nothing to do with an individual though you may have people that are shouting behind you they say they are supporting you you may say they are millions but what we ask you what is the name of your group it is very very simple something innocent theology that is even running not up to 100 people they have name Biafra national guide the other one have name Biafra national league even if they are 10 or 5. benjamin the call for his release in 2013 2014 he was released i was in detention they brought him to enugu in 2013. i was there he left 2014. okay yes no i was i have left before him right him and his group 2013 in Enugu Maximum. Now, he leads Biafran National, um, Biafran Zionist Movement, BZDM. That's what Ben Omoka leads. It was Rike Lis Masob. He later created BIM, Biafran Independent Movement. Masob is Movement for the Actualization of Seven States of Biafra. Mazinam can leads IPOB. Who does this buffon in based in Finland leads? down you ask yourself that is when you ask yourself so that is why if they commit crime nigeria will, his, will not hesitate to target an ipov if they commit crime nigeria will target an ipov because they cannot mention name of one person no when they mention the name of this criminal they will tag him on ipov when they call him they will if they declare him wanted they will say they declare ipov factional leader wanted and when they mention the name of his criminals they say they declare them whether they will still call ipob because they don't have name of group and the world have nothing to do with that so how do you think that a group will run an army when it is hard for a country to run an army why do you run an army through fundraising and you say you are Igbo history you are publishing lies how do you think that diplomatic moves are being published do you know that your brain is empty don't you know that diplomatic moves is not being published? Because if you publish it, the enemy of that country becomes your enemy. That is one thing you don't understand because your brain is empty. Fulan is behind the page. IPOB have been going in diplomatic moves, discussing with country, meeting with country, dealing with things that pertain international relationship and um, diplomatic moves, but never published because it is what will entice, that will make your partner happy when you don't publish it maybe the people you are fighting with are in good thought that those people are their friends but they don't know that these people have been in agreement with you you have discussed with them but whenever you see people who is trying to present that they meet with people or they discuss with people but IPOB national coordinators have been meeting with the countries just national coordinators of countries so why the, the U.S. have been meeting with countries? Do you understand? It's not being published. What they publish is just like when they are doing celebration or something, if they go to annual celebration, they go to football or they go to an event. But discussion, diplomatic ties, you don't publish them. So all these things, all of you are doing, you do it for the global ones. They will say, hey, he's doing a good thing. Don't you know it's not being published? Don't you know there was a time when they can say, I will no longer publish our movement. When we publish it, that is, he was not saying that he will publish, he used to publish that he have ties with people. No, he's just talking about his visitation, his tour, his movement. He did not even tell you who is going to meet there. He said, immediately I announced my movement, the government will go and lobby that place. 
Do you understand? Talk more of when you publish and say you have tie with social country. You are in agreement with social country. That is stupidity. If Nigeria cannot publish the kidnapping of Unam Khan from Kenya, why are they publishing that they are in discussion with Finland to extradite Simon? When did he, where when did they go in discussion with UK and the Kenya to kidnap to kidnap Unam Khan? They cannot publish it. That is the genuity of it. So when you see them presenting it louder, it means they want to deceive you. Because they want to prepare a rival before Kano's release. They want to present somebody that will be challenging or countering his order without knowing that he is well ordained by God. Do you understand? That only one of his, only three minutes of his statement everywhere they sat. So what they are trying to do is destroy an IPB cell. Then what they do want to do is to keep rival, to make sure they maintain rival. To make sure they maintain rival, a little bit of fun there. Don't worry, they put the same person as Rakol. We continue. To make sure they create rival. Do you understand? For Khan. But he's an ordained man. So that is what we are saying. The Igbo history should stop deceiving people because these people have killed people for three years. So Igbo history was behind these killings. In a point they killed, they burned down people's vehicle, they burned down people's keke, they they kneel down our children, they lie down down, they flog them, they flog teachers in the name of enforcing it at home. Now you did, you are you have the mind to promote criminal who kill people for three years and tell you now they cannot be free. They blackmail leadership, they blackmail IPOB, they blackmail everywhere, they were countering order, they were issuing order, they were killing, they don't care, they were burning. And you say you are an evil man, you are behind this page. You must be dreaming. You are not an evil man. You no evil man will be bold enough to promote evil of this idiot. How can you promote lies? Somebody that will go and bring picture of something that happened in Togo and say is his blah. Somebody that will come tell you that he killed Nigerian army fifth. But if one Nigerian army die, Nigerian army will be shouting that his IP will be. But this man will tell you he killed Nigerian army five hundred. Do you think it's easy to kill an army? If you kill an army, don't you know they will publish it? The easy I mean is that you are it's easy to kill an army, but I, I am telling you that the, government, the country will not forgive. If they don't publish it, they will come for the revenge. But uh, four was killed in Abba, and it was all over the news. But you kill 50, you kill 500, and you will come to Twitter and say, hey, well, they are not publishing our, what we are doing. What is your name? That is why when they gather some criminals, they say it's an army. You don't run an army with the name of group. An individual does not run an army when you don't even have a group name. Somebody will tell you their name is Autopilot. Autopilot is never a name, it's a declaration. Then you ask them, hey, they said they are now bridge, they are government in I ask them, what is the name of the group that declare government in exile? If IPOB declare government in exile, you say that IPOB declare government in exile. Okay, who launch ESN? IPOB. Okay, will you say that Igbo people launch ESN? No. Will you say that Biafra people launch ESN? No. So, what is the name of the people that declare the government in exile? There must be a group. There must be a group. There must have a name. So that your activities will be tagged on you, not to be tagged on other people. So that you will take the glory of your crime or your good ones. So that is it. You cannot be operating with that name. You'll be forcing people yourself. Say, ah, we are coming to Nezai. Under who? Who organized it? Have you fought Biafra here before? Were are you hot in abroad? No. We are you hot here? No. You went out as Nigerian. It wasn't Namdekan that was in the position because he escaped death. So he was in the position to declare government to Deza wherever he got himself. After all, he has the foundation of having a unit, having zones, having LGA coordinators, having senatorial coordinators, having state coordinators in Biafra land. That is to say, we can communicate to our people without announcing it, without publishing it. That is, we can uproot Nigeria without announcing it, because we can run a government without announcing it. Do you understand? With these very arms. But you, you gather some few criminals who are few in some, uh, some closer bushes. You say they are army. And that is government in exile. So those that are talking about government in exile, call your village and ask your village, 
have they had a message from government in exile in their community they have a meeting who do they meet if they have want to message the government in exile where you yourself in your community who will you communicate do you know if community want to talk to IPOB, they have channel to communicate IPOB. So we ask you, how do you run the government in exile without people knowing anybody? So who do you discuss with? When were you hot in your land? How did you run away? Did you run away? Did you escape that? No. Then who hurt you in a plot that you declare government in exile? You will fight from home, then you will escape. That is how it is done. But free, just keep that one aside. What is the name of your group? So that is what we are saying. People should stop lying to our people. Stop deceiving the global ones. You will say you are running a page. You will be there promoting, getting money. All you know is to get something lie. You publish it because you need the income. You need the comment. You need the reaction. People, Facebook will pay you when you are causing trouble in our land. All these people, pages that government bought over. Have you ever seen government? They, have, they are having diplomatic, not countries that are existing freedom fighters you are fighting for freedom if you discuss with country you will announce it if you meet a ma white man you take picture you meet a white man you take picture you will, you will write about the white man not the one man, one white man will tell you what actually make him tap on picture you are the one that will go and write it and analyze it do you understand and the white man will know that no human being is supposed to believe it. But if you believe it, that makes you a black man. So you have no reason to come and defend anything you say. That's the same way this idiot was telling you that a Biafran serving in a Russian army, they are the one who sent him. And you still had those things. You came and believed. You had when this idiot was campaigning for no election. And you know you are Igbo history. You know that it is a channel to destroy our land. You know he was contracted by APC to make sure that the rigging of Tinubu into power will not be notified or will not be noticed. Because if there is no voting here, automatically it will be false. You know, you are Igbo history page. You know this thing, that had there been no voting in our land, that in Kanun, nobody will talk about him. That Nigeria will vote about, uh, against IPOB and against Igbo people for going against P2B, for fighting P2B, for declaring an election when the whole Nigeria want to make Igbo man president. You know this thing. You know that this man have um, been calling for enforcement of sit at home because um, this, um, civil, civil disobedience cannot be enforced. Civility cannot be enforced. Hence, there is enforcement. It is no longer civility. That is why P2B call it and announcing and campaign for it. We work for it. We don't threaten. We want our people to obey it voluntarily. That is when we'll be proud. We are not claiming. We want to achieve something and we achieve it. It is always, always reality. Right? So, that is what we are saying. Thank you. So, that very page, they call Ibo history. He should be careful, or those, maybe Fulani, that's Fulani behind it, but those in charge of it should be careful. We will land on that page, report it from morning to night. If you, I will report three times today. The other person will report 100 times today, the same day, until that page is pulled down. Stop promoting evil against Igbo people. Tell me if these people mean well for our, our people. Ubuli Hedge of is running. Everywhere in Imo, because Hupo Zodema was made governor so that he would bring Imo State out as a land of sacrifice for the promotion of criminal that will be using Biafra struggle to make sure that our people reject Biafra. So if you see the activities of these people, if they operate, if these criminals operate around you, will you still pray that Biafra will come? Where Nigerian army are on the road, people will be passing there. But anywhere the criminal operates, nobody will be passing there. So why, how is it, how are they liberators? Why are you presenting such thing? Have you ever seen freedom fighting ties with anybody, any country they publish it? Have you ever seen it? Have you ever seen in, in countries discuss with an individual who does not lead a group? Only one person. Are you foolish? Don't you know that IPOB run a organization? They have leadership. 
Don't you know that the press release of IPOB is the discussion of a leadership that the, the media and publicity secretary will publish? Don't you know that IPOB have address and channels that the world knew? Don't you know that the Finland have approached IPOB and the IPOB told them that this man does not belong? So where does this man belong? You had somebody who used the name of organization to kill people. You had somebody who, who claimed to be in charge of ESN. After all these things, this man claimed to be in charge of IPOB. This man claimed to be IPOB faction. This man claimed to be a fresh person. This man claimed to be an American disciple. This man have killed our people. And you are here publishing, lying, that he, he called the, the, the congressman. Have you ever seen freedom fighters publish their ties with anybody or discussion? Have you ever seen it? Is it not people who want to be noticed? Is it not the people who want to be relevant? Is it not people who is trying to be seen? Is it not the people that will be doing so? If IPOB in Biafra land meet traditional land, do you know? The leadership in abroad have been meeting countries. Do you, do you publish it? If you publish it, then the enemy of that country automatically becomes your enemy. So you don't publish ties. Anybody you see doing ex uh, exaggeration, publishing anything, you know they want to convince you. They want to convince the Gulibu because it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. You must run organization that is of the people. An individual has nothing to do with... Okay, let me teach you. Have you ever seen an American call for sit at home? No. It is IPOB that calls for sit at home. If Mazen Amdekan announce it on Radio Biafra, go and read the press release. The press release will tell you this is from IPOB leadership. And... Uh, sorry, from... Yes, from IPOB leadership. Then it will be signed by the... Do you understand? Then it will be signed by... IPOB Media and Publicity Secretary. Then, memo will also be published. When the memo comes, the memo will be signed by the IPOB head of the rate of state upon whom the canoe gave the announcement. Do you understand? So, the word has nothing to do with an individual. Nam the canoe can never call for sit at home. That's why Nam the canoe only came and announced and they launched ESN. But IPOB was the people who, who is running, is the people running ESN. That is why Namdekan is director of Radio Biafra. But IPOB is running Radio Biafra. My network has become so bad. Do you understand? So that is it. So when you call USA, begin to write the name of the people, we know the rules of these things. We know the rules of these things. Then somebody that is declared government, declare armed struggle, do you are we aware that this criminal declared armed struggle? What does he have to do with the U.S. congressman? Don't you know you're a fool? Is he doing self-determination? These are roads we are creating for Kano. We make sure we guide IPOB not to go into armed struggle so that these kind of people can approach him. But these are people who have been enforcing this at home. They don't have anything to do with USA. These are people who do not have name. Do you understand? That is why we run for self-determination. But these people, they don't have anything to talk about referendum. But you had them talking about referendum. But they declare armed struggle. Armed struggle is an option in f to fight for freedom. Then self-determination is an option. You cannot run the two. IPOB is fighting under self-determination. So they have the right to call for um, referendum. But these people tell you they are freedom fighter. They are under self uh, armed struggle. They are the people that will still tell you about referendum. And you, the Igbo history, will publish it because you are a promoter of evil against Igbo people. Two of us, somebody that declared armed struggle, do enforcement, is telling you about referendum. They are not telling you they discuss with the congressman. Are you not aware that the congressman is seeing their trade? So you think IPOB cannot do bite openly? Don't you know that there are rules guiding freedom fighting? Do you think that war does not have rules? Do you think that freedom fighters have no rules? So you can just come and start fighting. Football have rules in the field. You don't just come and play anyhow and start shooting, killing people. You come with a gun. No. Any option you choose, you maintain it. So somebody that is in armed struggle will come and publish and tell you that they meet with the, with the U.S. congressman. And you believe. 
don't you know you are a fool? Don't you know if USA want to do it, they will do it hidden? Don't you know you are an idiot? They can be proud to allow you to publish something concerning self-determination. These people are not doing self-determination. They tell you that I'm struggle. From there, they told you they declare government in Israel without discussing with the people. When the Nigerian state is fully, when the Nigerian state are fully running their government in our land, everywhere they are there. You don't have a single office, a room where people can meet you or any community and say, hey, we want to meet our government in Israel. But they can meet IPOB in communities. If they want to meet me now, they will meet me. If they want to meet IPOB uh, uh, Sona unit coordinator in the village, they will meet him and report. They know them physically. If it is to run government in Israel, that is how to run it. Not gentle. Who have gone running at a on this or bush? Uh, the the non government in Israel that will be ruling in any ruling in here. Are you mad? Are you foolish? You never got any challenge from Nigerian government in Biafra land. You, you say you declare government in that. Don't you know you'll be pushed away from your land? Don't you know that they will attempt to kill you? You will escape. Somebody that is Nigerian athlete holding their medal. They just they were recruited to say uh, to destroy the Afra struggle. Is that how to do? To do as a uh, exaggeration. You get a white man pick you get see a living Biafra who is alive in Russia. They publish it and say he's a Biafra Liberation Army. They sent him to Russia. Upon you saw that you still believe. You believe in their lives for how many years? You have the the grant to come here and say that they meet a congressman after three years of lies and deceiving people. Because Fulan is behind the Igbo history page. Do you understand? Thank you. So that is it. And I have come, that's it. Mazelo Tuku have dealt with this very page. And that is why I say, let me come and speak it to his hearing. He have read, but let him listen. Because if we want to treat their madness, just two days, we will land on that page, we report it massively, and the page will be dealt with. Very, very important that you know. You do not, government will not create a page and hand it to Fulani, and you'll be there. Instead of doing your blogger, you are doing, smarter. you come and promote criminal. I'm thinking that we are here for joke. I remind the fellas I pay evangelist Mazda Mara Chimatu. Adama Kwama, in case you don't know. From me, from here, it is good evening. Facebook, that one is your business. If you like, you allow two people to see it. If you like, you allow people to, that is your business, not my business. I have tagged the page and I will continue to deal with every negativity before us. Thank you.